Monday Night Football. Week four at SoFi Stadium with us here in LA. And then opening day at home, Allegiant Stadium, packed to the rafters, tailgating Hopefully. beforehand. Oh, yeah. Raider fans blitzed off their asses. September, so the weather's still good. Baltimore Ravens coming to town, and we pop the top off of Allegiant Stadium. First game with fans at home. Prime time! Let's go! Let's go! That's what we needed right there. We That's need- how you kick this shit off. I don't care if they went to the Super Bowl two seasons ago. I don't care if they're one of the best running games in football. Let's go. Nobody is going to beat the Raiders in their home opener with fans. Last year, we shocked the world and beat the Saints in our home opener in primetime. We're yep. going to do it again in 2021. I'm telling Mark you, man. Mark my words. This- you can't bet enough on this game. This is how you, to steal a line from Nuke Lelouch, this is how you announce your presence with authority. Yeah. All right? You go out <laughs> there and you just drop your nuts out there, man. This is what's going to happen today. You're not going to go out of here with a W. You're going to get out of here with your life, but barely. And that's what we have to do, man. It's, I think it's a great test for this team. If this team can't get jacked for this game on Monday night, everybody's going to be watching this game. Everyone's already played. All the games have already played. The rookies yep. have all played. All those new people in new places, all those new faces in new places, they've all played. Mm-hmm. And everyone's going to be watching this game. Okay, who the fuck is laughing now? Right? Oh, you guys picked that person, and you guys did this, and you guys are this, and you guys are that. Fuck that shit. We're going to go out there, and we're going to show you who the fuck we are. And we're going to find it. out. I love it. I'm getting tingly. Down in my plums. My plums. Blue hue down in my plums. So um, a couple – we'll talk We'll talk later about which games you think we're going to go to because, like, I guess I, for work, I'm in Vegas every other weekend. All the time. Uh, they've got some pretty cool, like, destination places. Like, they're going to New York. Um, they're going to uh, – what other good spots? Actually, that's kind of it. That's really <laughs> it places. I'm I not mean, going to fucking Indianapolis. I mean, one. I went. I went to the Thanksgiving game in 2013 when the Raiders went to Cowboys on Thanksgiving. I had a blast. We lost, but I had a great time tailgating. I was eating chili out of a red Solo cup, and just I've I learned how to travel and eat at the same time. Left hand, vodka soda. Right hand, chili in this in two different red Solo cups. Just boom, chili, boom, vodka, boom, chili, boom, vodka. I mean, as much as I hate the Chiefs, Kansas City has some tremendous barbecue. I had a great time. I went City. there, and I had – that was the Tim Brown return the punt game that I went to in, like, 99, 98. Something They've like that. got a fun downtown. It's small, so, like, you're going to basically you can walk do everywhere. You can you walk need. everywhere. Yeah, like, you're going to do everything you want to do in a weekend, but we're – like we're gonna be vacationing there for three weeks, right? Yeah, like we're not stationed there on a military base. It's like, like Nashville. Weekends, like but... like Nashville has that yeah. one strip, a little more live family music. friendly version of Nashville. Yeah, yeah. Family, Nashville can still get a little funky, but no, yeah. It's I had a, I, when I went to Kansas City, it was a December game, just like it is here, mm-hmm. and um, there was a, a a barbecue spot. It was whitewashed, like all white, and it had a red door, and the same dude did everything. Mm-hmm. Cleaned the table, took your order, cooked your food, all that shit, and this shit was delicious. The toilets, yeah. delicious. The well, same man, dude with everything three done teeth with in love. his mouth. Oh, it was delicious. So good. So because we're on the West Coast, um, scheduling means so much more to us. Like if you're on the oh, yeah. East Coast and you're playing like half your games, you're just like, oh, it's a two-hour flight for like sixty percent of our games. Like when you're on the West Coast, that's why the Raiders always get fucked travel-wise, right? Mm-hmm. We have we travel the eighth most distance on the schedule um, in the NFL, which sounds bad, but it's a lot better is, than it has been. A lot better than it has been. This is one of the best travel schedules I can remember. Like I don't remember yeah. as a little like I've been a Raider fan since I was eight, but I don't remember like as eleven years old like going through like how far the Raiders were traveling. For as long mm-hmm. as I've been like kind of keeping one eye on how far the Raiders travel, this is the best schedule I can remember. All of the East Coast teams that we're playing come to us. Ravens, Dolphins. Oh, no. we have, we have to hold on, hold on. Eagles. Okay. Chiefs. 
Okay. We only go to two East Coast games. Um, the Steelers in week two on a short week, and yeah. it's a 10 a.m. game. That's a rough one. Week well, yeah, two, we got four of those. Week, week two is a rough one. At, at Pittsburgh, at 10 a.m., on a short week after Monday Night Football yeah. game. The other East Coast game is Giants after a bye. So you can't ask for better than that, right? If you're going yeah. to have to travel East Coast, at least it's after a bye. So travel-wise, this is, this is one bad. of the best ones I can remember. So th- that Steeler game is, is going to be tough. Not only are you coming off of a huge high, you're super jacked, you're playing the Ravens, you're playing at home, you have your fans, opening yeah. day, Monday night, everyone's watching, short week, you travel to the Steelers who do the one thing that we've been super terrible at defending, which is throw the fucking rock. They throw the rock. Almost, they, they even though they have a new running back, don't get it twisted, okay? They're going to throw the fucking ball, and they have some stud receivers. That's going to be a tough game, man. And be Beth, game. it's only week two, so Ben Roethlisberger hasn't been in a walking boot for like four straight weeks, you know? Like, he hasn't had a chance to like get he's his He's still soberish. Destroyed. He's soberish. Yeah, the beginning of the year. He's not, he doesn't have that, that alcohol bloat yet. Yeah, all, he gets all his kind of like still working. <laughs> late October, he gets that bloat face because he's been hitting the fucking sauce. So we play six playoff teams. Um, but that includes Chicago and the Washington football team, which, you know, like barely limp dick their way into the playoffs, yeah. but it doesn't count Miami who was 10 and six last year. Who's that's going to be a tough game, which leads me to the early part of the schedule. Pretty brutal. Like we just mentioned, uh, Ravens, Steelers, Dolphins at chargers who are giant wild card on how good they're going to be this season. Well, let's be honest here. That at chargers is going to be a home game. Yeah. Home game. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's our, uh, it's like our vacation home. So far yeah. stadium. Um, and that's another Monday night, Monday night game. But then yeah. after that, it gets pretty easy. Bears, Broncos, Eagles, by Giants, Chiefs at home, Sunday night game, Bengals, Cowboys, Washington football team. So there's a big chunk of the middle of the schedule that's pretty easy. But then, again, like the whole season's bookended, it gets kind of rough. At Chiefs, at Browns, Broncos, Colts, Chargers. So, so here, are the, here are the games that I'm, I'm concerned about. Of course, the Chiefs, because they're the Chiefs right now, yeah. okay? So there's going to be the Ravens game. I'm, I'm more excited for that than, than concerned. I'm concerned about the Steelers game just because, like we've our, talked our about. Our defense is actually semi-built, as bad as our defense is. Right? Our defense is, mm-hmm. isn't good. But it's kind of built to beat a Ravens team. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. You know, we got some, we got, we got some good defensive linemen who's good against the run. We need um, to make sure we get that pressure up the middle. Yeah. We get that pressure up the middle and uh, – Hope, hopefully whoever's playing a DN that game can, uh, can, can push. Yeah. There'll uh, be a lot Lamar of Clay Farrell and not a lot of like revenge game for Yannick and Gakwe. I don't think. Yeah. You know? not, Clay and they're not. stopping the run. So, so the Steelers, I, I'm, I'm concerned about that. Yeah. I, 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 I'm concerned about the, the game before and after the at chiefs game or the first chiefs game, excuse me, mm-hmm. the, the, the giants and Bengals, uh, they, they concern me for different reasons. Um, looking ahead, if it's the Giants, you're looking ahead to the Chiefs the following week. Yeah. And how, depending how we do against the Chiefs that first that first go around, it's that letdown game the following, which we have been known to have those letdown games. And the Bengals are definitely and a team and that we have a letdown against. Right at when our letdowns start, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Let's say we 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 end up, you know, we're like seven and three, feeling ourselves. That is exactly when we fall apart, like the last two seasons. Well, he, here's the good thing. And we said that shit last year about Atlanta, right? Yeah. They were in the shitter, and then we took a dump. But look, when, right when we started to to have a, a rough patch in our season, the last few years, you have the Bengals, you have the Cowboys, you have Washington. Those three games, those teams are not lighting the world on fire. Mm-hmm. All right. You have suspect defenses. Uh, I mean, Washington has a, a decent defense, but who's going to have, who's going to be throwing the ball there? Yeah. Uh, Cowboys have an atrocious defense and the Bengals are just the Bengals. So their, offen- their offensive line is going to get Joe Burrow killed by, by week 11. More oh yeah. Time. Let's just get him a fucking receiver. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, at least that stack of games is, isn't going to be, it, it's not a buzzsaw. Okay. Uh, hopefully mm-hmm. we can pull out of that little section there. Um, at the Browns again, I mean, traveled there two years in a row. Um, the Colts with, uh, with, with, um, anyway, that was our biggest curb stomping last year. Browns held them yeah. to six points. That was our best. What was that was that? like our, 
best performance. When uh, Wentz, Wentz at the, I, I'm not just, I'm not sold on that, but I mean, we'll see how it works out. Um, I mean, you, you still got to go out there and play the games. I, I think that they have a pretty decent mix um, of, of tough games and not as tough games. Um, if you consider past performance and again, how much does that matter? You never know. There's always these teams that, you know, come from the shitter up to the penthouse, but yeah. uh, and, and back the other way too. So um, I just, I think it's pretty evenly distributed. Another good part of this. So like, Again, my biggest takeaways are love the primetime games, um, love that we're playing the NFC East, and the travel is just not the kick in the dick like it has normally mm-hmm. been. I mean, we, we only go on one two-game road trip. That's it. Yeah. That's it. None of this, like, six weeks without a home game like we did, what's it, two seasons ago? Yeah. Um, none of those, like, three ga- like back-to-back-to-back weeks. None of those London games. Dude, sure. Or, like, playing in Florida back-to-back weeks. You're like, do we just stay there? Like, none of that. Two, there's only one time when there's back-to-back road games, which, yeah, is, which 14, is so 15. huge. Which well, is- I mean, and, and, that, and that Browns game, it may be a, um, a primetime game. Yeah. It's, it's, it says December 18th or 19th. So, yeah. Oh, Saturday be- or Sunday, and it, or, and it could be a prime Sunday because yeah. we don't know yet. We don't know what time it's going to be. Hey, Windbags. If you want Darren Waller to catch 20 touchdown passes this season, don't be afraid to click those subscribe, like, share, and comment buttons. Plus, your comment could be featured in the next What Up, Windbags?